Now the camera will rotate by a value of 1650. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got that mixed up with the zoom. We're just going to set that to 90. And here, I was caught myself in my own explanation. We don't want it to be any greater than 90, because what we're adjusting here is the actual Y camera angle, the degrees. So think about it. If we had 180 in terms of degrees, that would go behind the text. And we don't want that. We want it to stay readable in the front. So we're going to say positive 90. And that way, it'll give us a smooth animation from left to right without going behind it. And uh, that's it for that. We're going to apply one more expression here to the camera. And this is going to take care of our camera animation. Um, I'm sorry, let's go inside camera options. And we'll alt left click on the zoom. We're going to type another wiggle parameter. You guessed it, every 0 0.2 seconds. And this is by 1650. This is what I got it confused with. Because the default value here is zoomed in at 1244. And I want to adjust it overall, positive or negative, by that amount. So it's going to zoom in closer and zoom out pretty far away. But it's going to be a very smooth transition because it's doing it every 0 0.2 seconds by that much. Hope that makes sense. If not, don't worry about it. It's just uh, more programming logic. Now we're going to be applying some uh, random twisting effects to our particle layer. This is always the fun part. You go to form. I mean, it's all fun in my opinion. You just bring it down. Particles, effect, form, disperse and twist. And we're going to alt left click. You remember these two parameters. We're going to alt left click. And our default value is 4. But we're going to be adjusting this every 0 0.2 seconds by a value of 10. So it's going to go positive or negative 10 from the default value here, which is 4. And there you have it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do a RAM preview here. It's going to start out at nothing because the values are pretty slow, but uh, you know, the audio level. So I'm just going to hit zero on my number pad. And we're pretty much done at this point. I'm just going to let it RAM preview. You can see the rate at which it's going. I'm going to stop here and then uh, I'm not going to make you guys wait through this. All right, guys, I saved you the time there with the uh, RAM preview. And with that, I'm going to scroll through this here because you can't really hear the audio. You can't really hear the audio because right now I'm recording everything. All my tutorials are done directly through my condenser microphone. Uh, maybe in the future I'll get a sound card so I can do both. But um, everything in here is in sync with the audio. We didn't apply any audio effects to the trap code layer, but I'm going to leave that experimenting room to you because uh, that's where the fun really kicks in is when you can experiment on with those things. So with that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my uh, first tutorial in Adobe After Effects. And uh, feel free to hop on over to my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tutorials, and I'm going to have many, many, many more in the future. So as always, guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care.